Hello people, this is Forty Splish Splash. Today I'm going to talk about why I left TDN. Yes, I have decided to leave my multi-channel network here on YouTube, which has been TGN for about three and a half years. For those of you that have been following me for quite some time on my channel knows that in 2014, the fall of 2014, my channel was suspended for about six months, which was of course quite devastating. However, I did quite many appeals actually for to YouTube in order to get my channel back. The thing is that I also turned to my network because I thought that this was something that, you know, you do when you get problems from YouTube. And I asked for help when it comes to the appeals that I was writing. I needed some help, you know, how I should write, things like that. Unfortunately, they told me that it's, this is something I have to do by myself towards YouTube. So I did not get any help at all, to be honest. Towards the end, when YouTube finally answered me, TGN stepped in and gave me some advice and actually asked YouTube the main reason why my channel was suspended, so at least I got an answer. It was due to a bug and it all got fixed, but of course it took time to rebuild everything I had from before. Later on, I got a copyright claim on one of my videos, which is not unusual if you have been doing YouTube for some time. Also here I turned to my network again to get some advice how I should write when I'm doing the appeal when it comes to this copyright claim. TDN said that due to legal reasons they can't advise me so I had to find that out myself. I actually got some sweet help from my friend Chips Flicken here on YouTube. He's also from Sweden and his network Curse. I also had an old lock-in contract which was quite common a few years ago when it comes to partnership with an MCN on YouTube. That also means that my earnings on YouTube were split in a 60-40, meaning that I got 60% and the network got 40. This is quite a bad deal and I wanted to make a new one, so I reached out again to TDN, but they said that they couldn't do that because my earnings were too low. I was like, okay, but I've been partnered for you with so long time, can't we meet halfway and find something out here? But they didn't listen to this. Now you might start to wonder if I think that TDN is a bad network. And the answer is actually no, I don't think they are a bad network. They are more or less just like any other network out there today. Uh, meaning that if you are a smaller channel, it's gonna be a problem for you to actually get some really, really good help if you get in trouble with, for example, a copyright claim on your channel. There are also other reasons why I believe in 2017 on YouTube that you don't need to actually be partnered with an MCN. I will give you these tips and thoughts and you can make up your own mind in an upcoming video that will come pretty soon after I have uploaded this one. And I want to say thanks for watching. I also would like to hear from you in the comment section what you think about this, especially your own situation, maybe as a content creator on YouTube, your thoughts about multi-channel networks as a whole. Okay, people, this is for the Splish Splash. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a new video. If you're new to my channel and you want to follow me here, please do so. Subscribe and also put on that little tingling bell so you see when a new video is out. Take care, people. Bye-bye.